Hello. In this video I'm going to show you a free application launcher for Windows called Rocket Dock. Rocket Dock has kind of a Mac feel to it. It's easy to install, easy to use, and is customizable. And I'm going to begin by opening a web browser. And in the search box I'm going to type Rocket Dock. Next I'm going to click download underneath rocketdock.com. And then I'm going to click the download Rocket Dock button. I'm going to save the file. When the file is finished downloading, I'm going to double click on it to open it and then I'm going to run it. When the setup wizard appears, I'm going to click next. And then I'm going to accept the agreement. I'm going to leave the default destination location and I'm going to click next. I'm going to create a desktop icon for now, and then I'm going to click install. And then finish. Next I'm going to click on the Rocket Dock icon on the desktop. When Rocket Dock first opens it has a lot of icons by default. Since I've already used Rocket Dock once before, it doesn't have anything except for my pictures and dock settings on the launcher. And to add something to the launcher, you would go to the program or file you wanted to place in there and drag it and drop it into the launcher. If you wanted to remove it, you drag it and drop it out of the launcher. Under dock settings, under the general tab, you can choose your language. You can have it run at startup, which I want it to do. If you don't run it at startup, you'd have to open it every time from the icon. And I'm going to leave the rest blank. Next I'm going to go to icons. You can choose the quality of the icon, the opacity, the size. You can customize the hover effect when you go over the icons on the launcher. You can choose how much the icons zoom when you hover over them. You can choose the zoom width and the zoom duration. And next I'm going to go to position. Here you can choose the monitor that you're using Rocket Dock on. You can choose the screen position. Right now it's at top, so if I click bottom, here it is down at the bottom now. You can adjust the layering. You can adjust where the launcher is located on the desktop. And you can even offset the edges. Under style, you can choose a theme for the launchers. And I'm going to choose luminous for now. You can see how the launcher changed. So I'll do it one more time here. We'll choose proto glass. And then that's how it would look. You can also adjust the opacity of the launcher. You can disable icon labels. You can also select fonts, shadow color, and outline colors. And then you can select the outline opacity and shadow opacity. Next I'm going to go to behavior. Here you can select how the icons behave when you click on them. And I'm going to leave it on bounce. You can auto hide the launcher. And if I did that and clicked OK, the launcher is now gone and when I hover over it, it appears. You can have the launcher pop up on mouse over it. And then of course there's the About tab. So I'm going to click OK. And now I have Rocket Dock at the bottom of my desktop. I can add any programs, files to it I want to. And that's Rocket Dock. It's a very cool free program for Windows. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.